Question number 10, Stuart Nash. Thank you, Mr Speaker. This is to the Minister of Police. Is the government winning its so-called war on pee, given that the drug is now cheaper, more pure, more readily available than ever, according to the Police Association? The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, victory won't be declared until there's no more methamphetamine being bought and sold in New Zealand. And while there's always more that can be done, the government has made excellent progress tackling the problem. So far, we're seizing more methamphetamine than ever. Police have seized almost a tonne this year so far, and Mr Parker might think that that's something to laugh at, but I don't. We're taking the proceeds of crime from criminals, over $390 million of cash and assets seized since December 2009, and we're using that money on drug-related initiatives. Just yesterday, the Prime Minister announced that almost $15 million seized from criminals will be invested in anti-drug initiatives to reduce both supply and demand with extra funding for police, customs, health and corrections. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. If this is such an important area, why has the number of police officers dedicated to drug crime be cut, been cut in the last three years, according to her own figures? The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, obviously that member doesn't realise that every member of New Zealand Police is dedicated to actually dealing with this area. And no... And nobody in police would actually walk by and allow this drug to continue being sold. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Does she support the Prime Minister's support for gangs acting as vigilante groups to fight P? Or does she support the police who have said, quote, we reinforce that people should not take matters into their own hands? Uh, the Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, I see no difference between the Prime Minister's very wise words and those of the New Zealand Police. <laughs> Supplementary question, Jamie Lee Ross. Has the Minister received any reports of organisations advocating greater law enforcement activity in relation to drugs, while also opposing the need to accommodate more offenders in prison? Well, I will just Mr. be watching Speaker, very carefully the answer to the question. Mr. Speaker, the strangely Collins. enough, I have. That would be the New Zealand Labour Party under order, Mr. Andrew order. Little. No. <laughs> then it's a question that's designed to do nothing but attack the opposition. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Rather than leaving law enforcement to the gangs, will she back Labour's plan for a thousand extra police? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr. Speaker, rather than ever back the Labour Party on law, law and order. Um, I think we'd, uh, obviously, it's nice to know that some gang members are turning their lives around and suddenly deciding that methamphetamine is a bad thing. And that's a good thing. When they start taking family violence as seriously, then I'll be a bit more impressed. Kelvin, what do you think of that, mate? Order. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. When, when P is cheaper, more pure and easier to get than ever, when communities have to turn to gangs for help because there aren't enough police, when P is driving a surge in violent crime all over the country, why can't she admit that National has failed to live up to its promise to New Zealanders and adopt Labor's plan for extra police? The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, that member's obviously got a very short memory because I remember when Labor was last, last in government, they said P wasn't an issue. Question 